Creating models is nice, but ultimately we need to present our designs on a collection of sheets that will either be printed or submitted to a recipient electronically. The tools to do this are fundamental to Revit LT. Simply drag views to sheets and all of the callouts automatically report the correct sheet references. The project that I'm in already has a couple sheets in it, and a few of the views have already been placed on those sheets. In the plan view, you can see that if I zoom in here near the top, there is a section callout right here that references sheet A201. Beneath the sheets branch of the project browser, you'll see two sheets already here, and here's sheet A201, and if I open that up, you'll see the various views that are already placed here on the sheet, and section number two is right up here near the top. I'm going to close that sheet and I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to right click directly on the sheets branch of the, of the browser. I can choose one of the existing title blocks listed here to create my new sheet or I can click load here to, to load in a new one. A brand new empty sheet will appear and it will automatically number as A202. Now if I like I can click right on here and rename the sheet. You can also do that by right clicking it here on the project browser. Notice that both stay coordinated. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit and begin adding views to this sheet. Let's start with the floor plan. All you have to do is grab the view that you want to place on the sheet, drag it out of Project Browser, drop it onto the sheet, and then click where you want to place it to go. You'll see that this new floor plan comes in with the title right here, Room 206 Enlarged. Next, I'd like to take this section right here and add it to this sheet as well. You'll currently notice that it is not referenced. We can find that section here in the Project Browser. I'll drag it into the sheet and click where I'd like it to go. You'll see the name of the view fill in and it gets numbered as number two because it's the second view on the sheet and notice that the callout has immediately updated to reflect that change. If necessary, you can select any of the viewports and move them around to fine tune placement. Next, I'll add this detail. Notice that Revit LT will try to line up the various views on the sheets. And if I zoom in, you can see that this detail is reference number three and right over here in the section, the callout is updating accordingly. I have this elevation here called Kitchen East Wall. When I try and drag that one on the sheet, what will happen is Revit LT will generate a warning. Not only does Revit LT automatically coordinate the view titles and the callout references for you, but as you can see, it will also prevent you from placing the same view on more than one sheet. This is because automatic callouts would break if the view was placed on multiple sheets. So Revit LT prevents this, and as the message indicates, it is possible to duplicate the view instead. Now while it's possible to create an exact copy of the view, more likely what you'd want to do is create a copy and then modify it some way before you place it on another sheet. So let me close this warning. I will right click the view that I'm trying to place and duplicate it. Now I want it to match the settings of the other views on that sheet, so I'll change its scale. And perhaps I don't want to see these entourage elements, so I can select one of those, come up here to the Hide and View button, and choose Hide Category. I'm going to scroll down and reopen the sheet, and then drag this new view over onto the sheet. Notice this time there's no warning, and the view comes in as number four, but notice that it still has a name Copy of East Wall. We'd probably like a better name than that. So all you have to do is right click that view on the project browser and rename it. And when you give it a new name, you'll see that immediately be reflected on the sheet as well. Now since we've copied this view, we actually have two elevation tags directly on top of one another right here in our floor plan. And you can see that the one that's on top is reporting that it's drawing number four here on this sheet. But if I right click on this viewport, I can actually activate this view. This allows me to reach right into the viewport and manipulate the objects. And if I click on the circular portion of this tag and move it slightly out of the way, what you'll see is there's actually another one directly beneath it pointing to sheet 201. I'm going to select that one and the triangular portion here, which is the actual elevation, and I'm going to hide those two elements in the view. Now, I'm not going to hide the whole category, just those two selected elements. And then I'll take this one and move it back again over here so that it's a little more legible. Right click again and deactivate the view. And then as I zoom back out, we don't have to worry about two redundant tags sitting on top of one another in the view. As you can see, much of the tedium involved in setting up sheets is removed when using Revit LT. Setting up fully coordinated sheets with cross-reference callouts is no longer a chore.